as I mentioned, part of learning to live life God's way is understanding that the book of Proverbs is connected to the rest of the Bible. And in the book of Genesis, God introduces himself as the creator in six 24 hour days. He created the universe and placed man right in the center of that garden of Eden. And then he established the role of men and women, marriage and family. And then after the fall, God said to man, six days shalt thou labor and rest the seventh. That's the creation mandate of work. Now let's go over here. The biggest choice we have in life is God's way or man's way. When we got saved, we want to be submissive to God's word. And God's word says, if anyone will not work, he should not eat. So living life God's way means that we follow the narrow way of wisdom. We live for eternity and we do what God says as opposed to the world. And so how do we cultivate God's work ethic from his word? And it's almost like work has become uh, a drudgery and something we shouldn't want to do rather than what God designed it to be. The book of Proverbs shows us God's design. God says that you can do my will if you simply fulfill what I created you to do. And that is to obey your creation mandate to work and from the, the labor to enjoy the fruit of your labor, which is being able to eat. Remember, working hard is first a mindset. It's, it's a choice we make in our mind. So is laziness, by the way. And we're going to see the contrast between God's desire for us to think properly about work and fallen man, lost and rebellious man's desire to rebel against that and to do everything possible to not work. Either we adopt God's attitude and work or the foolish mindset of fallenness, of being a lost rebel in opposition to God, which is laziness.